Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Acesse suprememastertv.com barra schedule. For the mountains shall depart and the hills totter, but my kindness shall not depart from you, neither shall the covenant of my peace totter, says the Lord. Please continue watching for the ancient wisdom from the Holy Tanakh in the book of Isaiah. Vegan. Going towards enlightenment. Hola, agradables espectadores. That's hello, kind viewers, in Spanish. The fun-loving Argentinians hope you are having a wonderful day. I am Mateo. With God's all-encompassing and benevolent love shining on us every day, the gracious Argentinian people feel ever so blessed and are glad that you feel it too. May our vegan lifestyle show that we respect and honor God's teachings. Welcome to the Lord's all-inclusive love. From Judaism's Holy Tanakh, Book of Isaiah, Part 1 of 2, on Words of Wisdom. Judaism's history begins around 2000 BCE with the covenant between God or Elohim and Abraham. Over a thousand years later, as the Jewish faithful believe, God or Elohim's laws and commandments were revealed to the prophet Moses on Mount Sinai, forming the Torah, which is the first part of the Hebrew Bible. The Hebrew Bible, or Tanakh, and the ancient writings of the Talmud embodied the beliefs and practices of Judaism. Present in every aspect of the religion is a single omniscient and compassionate God, or Elohim. The Holy Tanakh's book of Isaiah is the fifth book of the Nevi'im or Prophets and is authored by the Israelite prophet Isaiah, who lived in the 8th century BCE. The book of Isaiah expounds on salvation in God, the compassion God has to his children, and visions of universal peace. Today we will present excerpts from chapters 51 to 54 from the Holy Tanakh's book of Isaiah, which conveys God's loving concern for the people and the joys of salvation. Chapter 51 Hearken to me, you pursuers of righteousness, you seekers of the Lord. Look at Abraham your father, and at Sarah, who bore you. For when he was but one, I called him, and I blessed him, and made him many. For the Lord shall console Zion, he shall console all its ruins, and he shall make its desert like a paradise, and its wasteland like the garden of the Lord. Joy and happiness shall be found therein, thanksgiving and a voice of song. Hearken to me, my people, and my nation. Bend your ears to me, when Torah shall emanate from me, and my judgment shall be for the light of the peoples. I will give them rest. My righteousness is near. My salvation has come forth, and on my arm shall they trust. Raise your eyes to heaven, 
and look at the earth from beneath. My salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Hearken to me, you who know righteousness, a people that has my Torah in their heart. Fear not reproach of man, and from their revilings be not dismayed. My righteousness shall be forever, and my salvation to all generations. Awaken, awaken, dress yourself with strength, O arm of the Lord. Awaken, awaken, like days of all, generations of your. Are you not the one who dried up the sea, the waters of the great deep? who made the depths of the sea a road for the redeemed ones to pass? And the redeemed of the Lord shall return, and they shall come to Zion with song, and with everlasting joy on their heads, gladness and joy shall overtake them, sorrow and sighing shall flee. I, yea, I am he who consoles you. Who are you that you fear man who will die, and the son of man who shall be made as grass? And you forgot the Lord, your Maker, who spread out the heavens and founded the earth. And you fear constantly the whole day because of the wrath of the oppressor, when he prepared to destroy. Now, where is the wrath of the oppressor? I am the Lord, your God, who wrinkles the sea and his waves stir. The Lord of hosts is his name. And I placed my words into your mouth, and with the shadow of my hand I covered you to plant the heavens and to found the earth, and to say to Zion that you are my people. Awaken, awaken, arise, Jerusalem, for you have drunk from the hand of the Lord. Chapter 52 Awaken, awaken, Put on your strength, O Zion, put on the garments of your beauty, Jerusalem, the holy city. My people shall know my name, therefore on that day, for I am he who speaks, here I am. How beautiful are the feet of the herald on the mountains, announcing peace, heralding good tidings, announcing salvation saying to Zion, Your God has manifested his kingdom. Burst out in song, sing together, all ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has consoled his people, he has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has revealed his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. For not with haste shall you go forth, and not in a flurry of flight shall you go. For the Lord goes before you, and your rear guard is the God of Israel. Behold, my servant shall prosper. He shall be exalted and lifted up, and he shall be very high. Chapter 53 And he came up like a sapling before it, and like a root from dry ground. He had neither form nor comeliness, and we saw him, that he had no appearance. Now shall we desire him? Indeed, he bore our illnesses, and our pains he carried them. But he was pained because of our transgressions, crushed because of our iniquities. The chastisement of our welfare was upon him, and with his wound we were healed. We all went astray, like sheep 
We have turned each one on his way, and the Lord accepted his prayers for the iniquity of all of us. Chapter 54 For your master is your maker, the Lord of hosts is his name, and your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, shall be called the God of all the earth. With everlasting kindness will I have compassion on you, said your Redeemer, the Lord. For the mountains shall depart, and the hills totter, but my kindness shall not depart from you. Neither shall the covenant of my peace totter, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. O poor, tempestuous one, who was not consoled, behold, I will set your stones with carbon coal, and I will lay your foundations with sapphires, and I will make your windows of jasper, and your gates of carbon coal stones, and all your border of precious stones. And all your children shall be disciples of the Lord, and your children's peace shall increase. With righteousness shall you be established. Go far away from oppression, for you shall not fear, and from ruin, for it will not come near you. This is the quintessence of wisdom, not to kill anything. Sutra Kritanga, Jainism. Magnanimous viewers, thank you for joining us on today's program. Please join us tomorrow for part two of the Lord's all-inclusive love. From Judaism's Holy Tanakh, Book of Isaiah. Coming up next is 3D printing and affordable and sustainable housing solution, part one of two, right after noteworthy news. May you and your family forever bask in the love and warmth of the divine. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW 